Hello, White Sox fans. We are updating the leaderboard from the first week of baseball in the month of June. Uh, this is not the place to make your picks for next week. That video will come up next. Speaking of making picks, turnout was down a little bit this week. So that's a good reminder that if you are participating in this game, not only should you be subscribed, but ring that bell so you don't miss the call for votes each week. From May 31st through June 6th, the White Sox played Cleveland. It was supposed to be a four-game series uh, with a doubleheader, but one game was rained out. Uh, the White Sox then went on to Detroit and did very well against the Detroit Tigers. Overall, it was a 4-3 and three week with a small plus-3 run differential for the team. With Jose Abreu back and fully healthy again, he did get a lot of votes. It was the smallest turnout I think we've seen for Tim Anderson, with Zach Collins and Andrew Vaughn each getting a single vote. Yuan Moncada was very well represented as well. Billy Hamilton, coming off of his multiple home run week, got one vote. Despite having a very high batting average over the previous few weeks, only a handful of people ended up voting for Nick Madrigal, a handful also for Yermin Mercedes, and surprisingly, nobody voted for Yasmani Grandal. As we'll see, some people missed an opportunity. Best batting average on the week went easily to Nicky Two Strikes, as you see him abbreviated there in 2S. Uh, Moncada was next, Tim Anderson. Jake Lamb has continued to take advantage of the opportunities he's been given. On the other side of the coin though, Jose Abreu had a terrible week, as did Yermin Mercedes, each of them with a batting average under 100. Vaughn also didn't do great with a 167 batting average. He was coming off of missing some time due to COVID protocols. Total hits, this was a fascinating one. Yoan Moncada, Nick Madrigal, and Tim Anderson all had Six singles, one double, zero triples, and one home run. They had identical, triple identical batting lines on the entire week. And as you see at the bottom there, Jose Barrio only had two hits on the whole week, and your main Mercedes only had one. Adam Eaton had a cycle for the week, having a double, triple, and home run. And yes, Monty Grandal picked up three home runs. His power has arrived. When looking at total bases, you do see Yasmani leads the way with that identical batting line. We had a monster coming in second of Nicky, Tim, and Yoan. And amazingly, at the very bottom of that list, Abreu with just two total bases and Yermin with one. On base plus slugging percentage, Yaz easily won this one over 1,200. Those home runs plus walks really helped him and the team on the week. A number of players with an on base plus slugging well over 800. And again, the bottom of that list, Vaughn around 400, Abreu and Mercedes each in the mid 200s. It was not a big offensive week overall for the White Sox. Yes, Monty Grandal led the way with five runs and Tim Anderson led with five runs batted in. It was unfortunately a free swinging week as well where you don't see very many players with good strikeout to walk ratios. Your mean actually was looking pretty good there. Grandal, good as always. Yoan picked up four walks, which is nice. But boy, oh boy, look at the bottom of that list with Adam Eaton, no walks and 10 strikeouts. And it was a weird one for stolen bases as well. Billy Hamilton was 1 for 1, Moncada was 0 for 1, and Tim Anderson was a staggering 0 for 3. The top offensive player of the week, that was Yasmani Grandal, but nobody picked him. So we will go to the next one down. Really, we should have had Yasmani Grandal at first place in a big tie, three-way tie for second. But I decided to pick the person with the slightest edge of those three. His four walks on the week helped separate Moncada from Tim Anderson and Nick Madrigal, also boosting his on-base plus slugging. So for picking you on Moncada, congrats Adam Budig, Darren Gessis, Elijah Petrie, Billy Ice 07, Sharon Davis, John Smith, Vic Isaiah, Rolfo Bermudez, Pat Connor, Hiram Noon, and Jeffrey Check. So of course, Yohan is number one. That means Tim Anderson and Nick Madrigal, Nikki Two Strikes, came in next. For picking Tim Anderson, that's three points to Alex Watsky, Raw, JK Town, Kevin N, and three points apiece for picking Nick Madrigal to Pat O'Brien, Billy Hennessy, Channing J, Sam Hatt, and oh yes, I actually picked a winner this time. It's been a while for me. But don't forget, that was also a week where we saw some excitement and hopefully the end of your mean Mercedes' slump because he hit a walk-off hit. If you get a walk-off hit, you get an extra point. So congrats, Mark Johnson, Tyler Suzuki, Matthew C., and David Kulig for picking up a bonus point. And looking ahead, there has been some more movement in the total standings. A lot of players moved up just by playing because uh, some players forgot to make a vote for that week. So you active players, you are moving up the ranks this week. You see a whole bunch of people are in the top 15 or so positions. We are hoping to give prizes out to the top 10. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will be the call to action so you can make your picks for this coming week. Until then, play ball and go Sox.